angry guy here and hashtag me too part two is extortion and women will suffer for it. Hashtag me too part two is extortion and women will suffer for it. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Marvel Studios is dropping Jonathan Majors from future productions after he was found guilty of assaulting his then girlfriend. A New York jury convicted the actor of misdemeanor assault and harassment, acquitting him of different assault and harassment charges. Senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky has the latest. Not every version of me was so so pure of heart. Actor Jonathan Majors' ascent in Hollywood halted as he awaits sentencing. ABC News parent company Disney saying Marvel is no longer moving forward with Majors after a jury found him guilty of domestic violence. Jonathan, how do you feel right now? Majors convicted of two misdemeanors for recklessly assaulting his then-girlfriend, Grace Jabari, in March, fracturing her finger and leaving her ear bloody. He was acquitted of assaulting her intentionally. What happened exactly, do you know? No, I don't know. Um, uh, but she's unconscious. Majors called 911 hours after the assault. She's my ex-partner. Um, broke up. Finding Jabari on a closet floor in their apartment has seen in body camera footage from responding police officers. Hours earlier, Jabari testified she and Majors had been riding home in an SUV when he received a flirtatious text from another woman. Jabari said she snatched the phone and Majors tried to pry it out of her fingers and twisted her arm before she felt a really hard blow across my head. Surveillance video showed Majors hopping out of the car, followed by Jabari. Majors then seen lifting her up and throwing her back inside before running off, Jabari chasing after him. Major's team insisted Jabari attacked him, but said we are grateful the jury found Majors did not intentionally cause any injuries to her. Prosecutors said the assault was the culmination of a manipulative pattern of abuse. Jurors saw text messages that suggested Majors tried to dissuade Jabari from seeking treatment at a hospital for a head injury from a prior incident between them. And they heard a recording of Majors scolding Jabari. How dare you come home drunk and disturb the peace of our house? and instructing her to behave like Michelle Obama and Coretta Scott King. I'm a great man. A great man. I am doing great things, not just for me, but for my, for my culture and for the world. That is actually the position I'm in. The woman that supports me needs to be a great woman. Jabari's attorney said in a statement, justice was finally served. Now, guys, I want to say this. This is absolutely ridiculous. You know, this is this is Me Too Part 2, and it's extortion. It is 100% extortion. Men are going to completely vanish from Western society with the exception of the simps who will always keep simping. But let me tell you something. A lot of those simps, they're only going to talk to women through OF, through only fools, lonely fans. Instagram, okay? But they are not going to keep talking to them and confronting them head on because they will be absolutely scared now. Too frightened. Notice what this guy said. I don't agree with everything he said, but no, he said something important. He said that, how dare you come home intoxicated and disrupt the peace of our home? That is what a man is supposed to do. A man is supposed to have order in his home. It should be his place of peace. The woman is not supposed to come home in complete and utter disarray. She is not supposed to bring that type of energy into the home. She is supposed to learn how to conduct herself like a person of integrity, value, and class. And this type of behavior is not acceptable. I don't agree with everything he says, but he, he sees himself as a person of value. And he and that's and that's actually not a bad thing. When you look at how a lot of celebrities behave in society, they carry themselves with so little class, so little self-respect. He sees himself in a position where people look up to him, they respect him, and he has influence over others. And if he has influence over others, he needs to take that into consideration and he needs to carry himself in a person deserving of said influence. 
and the person that he has by his side represents him ultimately. So I agree with him in that respect and in that regard. It's unbelievable what's happening. And this woman is saying justice has finally been served. She was the one who chased him down. She was the one who put her hands on him. The driver who was in the vehicle with them testified against her in court. And yet he's the one who's now lost his career. Amber Heard is still walking the streets. Ezra Miller is still walking the streets. The Flash came out and they were still talking about keeping him in the MCU regardless. This is after all the insane things that this guy did. No one cares unless you're a man. And with a man, it's basically guilty until proven innocent. And even if you're proven innocent, you're still guilty. And everything you lost, you will never regain it. In most cases, you will regain nothing, nothing whatsoever. That is how it is for men in Western society. So why would anyone want to participate in this toxic culture? Why would anyone want to stick around? And that's why most people today, won't. a lot of men will no longer stick around. They will walk away from Western society entirely. They will find happiness overseas. I want to show you this, guy. I want you to see, you know, the, the present reality for, for, for Western society, for what we are, for, for a preview. I've talked about it, how guys will have homes overseas. Look at this. I mean, some women are already doing this a lot, but if this is the, the expat thing is a man's endeavor. There are going to be women who do it, but this is what men are predominantly going to do. American mom who moved to Italy breaks down her low living cost. By the way, I just would literally say in my comments that they're spending two fifty for a rotisserie chicken. It's like eleven bucks for me, between eleven and fifteen bucks if I'm lucky and get one for nine. And it's like someone said they're getting one for two fifty. Like God bless you. God bless you. Like, I haven't had chicken that cheap since, since I lived in Mexico. So mom of one, of one, Stephanie Sinclair, 41, bought a home in Italy for $62,000 in 2022. An American mom who bought a charming home in Italy for only $62,000 has broken down her immensely low living cost in the European country, revealing she can get an entire chicken for $3.00 and a bottle of water for just 50 cents. Guys, Italy is a Western country. This is why I keep telling men, there's a lot of guys that say, oh, over here in Europe, it's not that great. Things with the women aren't that great. Guys, life in Sweden is way better than life in America. Life in America is maddening. You cannot survive here. You will have nothing here. You cannot save anything in America. America is a terrible place to live. Absolutely terrible. Terrible. I'm seeing stories about people trying to think they're going to go do it better in Canada. They moved to Canada and they're literally crying about moving to Canada from New York. If you move to Canada from New York and New York City and, and it's worse in Canada than in New York City, that just tells you how bad Canada absolutely has become. Because there was once a time where Canada wasn't so bad. And now Canada is a miserable cesspool. So Stephanie Sinclair, 41, a mom originally from Atlanta, Georgia, quit her marketing job in 2009 when she became sick of being told what to do after spending nearly a decade working in the corporate world. I wish I had left. My, she's only a year older than me. I wish I had left that world a long time ago. She went on to launch her own tea company called La Rue 1680 in 2012 and decided to celebrate the career change with her first trip out of the country. The mother started researching the cheapest flights to Europe from where she lived and stumbled upon Sicily, Italy. And as soon as she arrived, she fell in love with the area. This is pretty unbelievable. I knew from the moment I landed here, when my feet touched the ground, that I loved it here. She gushed from the very first moment I recognized how welcoming the people were. Sicilians are the most loving and welcoming people I've ever encountered on my travels. While Stephanie was instantly enthralled with Italy, it wasn't until more than 10 years later in 2022 that she would officially call it her home. I always said I could see myself living here, but it was more so in a dream way. She said, I never actually saw myself buying a house here. I don't know that I really thought it was possible at the time. 
Stephanie, who was ranting at the time, explained that when the that when the events of 2020 occurred, she decided she wanted to take advantage of the low housing market and purchased her first home. But by the time she was ready to move, the mortgage rates had gone back to an even higher to even higher than they were before. As she struggled to find something in Atlanta that fit her budget, she started to research other locations. And then she started to look outside of the country. She joined a couple different Facebook groups. And in March 2022, she decided to make the plunge. Uh, she realized that her that uh, that her dream home or her dream of living in Italy was not only possible, but was actually more affordable than buying a house in Atlanta. And she purchased a stunning home in Mussolini area of uh, Sicily for $62,000. So guys, I just want to tell you something. Sometimes when you hear me stuttering and reading words, there was this thing that I did years ago. It's called speed reading. And I studied speed reading years ago. Uh, from I, I'm basically a student of Ty Lopez. I know you, you many of you hate the name Ty Lopez. And what ended up uh, happening is that what I read, my brain naturally takes out conjunctions. So, so, so you know, con uh, connecting words. And as a result, I end up reading differently so so sometimes when it when, when you're like why am i reading like that it's because i have to like force myself to read conjunctions because i'm reading to a i'm reading to an audience and not reading in my head anyway let's keep going while chatting with nbc she basically explained that there are many benefits of living in europe most notably the money and she estimates that she spends around 389 dollars per month for gas when she's in sicily while in the U.S., she would fork over a whopping $1,164 in Atlanta. Unbelievable numbers. And her utilities are only $258 a month, and which is, which is crazy compared to $2,634 a month here in America. And, you know, she said that for three months in Italy, you know, she's paid what she would pay for just one month in the United States. Food and groceries are so much lower overseas. And she said that she may go grocery shopping and spend only $65, which is unbelievable, and not spend over 100 versus the United States. Beautiful. She said that she can have a whole chicken cut into pieces for only $3, milk for $1, and a big chunk of cheese for $4. A loaf of bread is only a single dollar. Guys, oh my goodness. I'm I'm just literally blown away, and they're absolutely so fresh. Food is really fresh. A pack of eggs is for 20 eggs is only four dollars. My, are you kidding me? A bottle of water is only 50 cents. And the entrepreneur who makes eighty thousand dollars a year added that you know because she's living in Italy and because of what she paid for her home, you know there's a no monthly mortgage for her. So while she would rent in. Atlanta, and that would that rent would cost around two thousand, actually two thousand two hundred and seventy five dollars per month. You know, she's able to live more comfortably in Italy, guys. So two thousand two hundred and seventy five dollars per month. That was her previous rent. That's what she was previously paying, and her house cost two hundred two hundred sixty two thousand dollars. So it's it's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. That's a pretty big price difference. And if we do that over the course of 12 months, that works out to uh, $2,275 works out to $27,300. $27,300. If we multiply that by just three years, that actually works out to $81,900. $81,900, y'all. That's insane. For less than three years of rent, she's able to own a home that has actual value she can resell it whenever she's ready to go. It will continue to appreciate in value. So the value will likely continue to increase. Even if it doesn't, it doesn't matter because she actually owns something that holds real value. This is insane, guys. This is why I keep telling y'all, get your passports, get outside of the United States, go and find, some, find somewhere else to live. You will live a better life, a higher quality life. You will actually own something. Because this is madness what's going on in Western society. And it's like for any of you that is living outside of Western society, you're like, oh, it's not that much better here. Come over. Okay, y'all, you big, you're big and you're bad. Come to America. Come to Australia. Come to the United Kingdom. Come go to Canada. Nobody wants to live in Canada. Come to one of the, go to one of these countries and then run your mouth. Because some of y'all are like, oh, it's so you don't know what bad is. You don't know what bad is.
I want to know your thoughts regarding all of this because it's frustrating. It's irritating. You need to wake up and realize that it's, that Western society has hit its breaking point and it, it's, there's, it's never going to be the way it once was. Let me know what you guys think, rega think regarding this in the comments because we need to talk more about this. We need to really have that conversation and look into this, delve into this further. But hashtag Me Too Part 2 is extortion and women will suffer for it because men are going to walk away. They're not going to look back. They're going to drain the swamp, drain. They're going to take their money out of Western society and women are going to basically be left with nothing. The state is not going to, is not going to be there to rescue them. Men are not going to be there to rescue them. And only fools is not, you know, the average woman is making less than $1,000 a month on only fools. And the women who are making money on that platform, they sold their futures for instant gratification in the present. I want to know your thoughts on this regarding everything we discussed here today. Let's talk about that further in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.